Welcome back friends. This is Wallis formula. This is the most important formula of joint and transaction. So friends, in this section you will find that how to evaluate easily. Integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x whole power m into cos x whole power n dx where m and n both are positive integer. Obviously using the property of uh, integration, definite integration, we can write integration 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx into cos power mx dx. Okay. So friends, here Wiley states that this result will be m minus 1 into m minus 3 into dot 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 1 or 2 finally into n minus 1 into n minus 3 into dot 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 finally 1 or 2 whole upon m plus n into m plus n minus 2 into dot 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 finally 1 or 2 and it should be multiplied by pi upon 2. So friends these result will hold only when both m and n are even integers. m and n both are even integers. Okay. So friends, when m and n are both odd integers, then what will happen? He states that the result will be only m minus 1 into m minus 3 ultimately at the last you will get 1 or 2 into n minus 1 into n minus 3 finally 1 or 2 whole upon m plus n into m plus n minus 2 finally 1 or 2 this will hold only when m and n both are odd integers okay this is the Wiley's statement Wiley's formula again i repeat integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x whole power m into cos x whole power n dx will be either this one or that one when m and n both are even integers then you will apply this formula otherwise you will apply this formula for m and n both are odd integers so friends, we will see an example. Friends, our example is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x whole power 4 into cos x whole power 6 dx. Here m and n both are even integers. m is 4 and n is 6. Both are positive integers and they are even. So for even integers, we shall use the first formula, this is m minus 1 into m minus 3 up to 1 or 2. In this way, um, the resultant will be multiplied by pi upon 2. So, m is equal to 4 and n is equal to 6. So, obviously, we can write it as m minus 1, that means 4 minus 1, that is 3, into m minus 3, that is 4 minus 3, it is 1. Finally, we shall get one or two, either one of them. So, we get one for this. We shall stop the subtraction and repeated multiplication. Next is for six. N is equal to six. So, this is N minus one, N minus three up to one or two. So, six minus one, that is five. Six minus three, that is three. And six minus five. That is equal to 1. Okay. 5 into 3 into 1. Whole upon m plus n. m plus n means 4 plus 6. That is equal to 10. So m plus n minus 2. Just we shall subtract 2. Again 4. Next 6. Uh, from m plus n. So this is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. So 10 minus 2. That is 8. Next, 8 minus 2 will be 6. 6 minus 2 will be 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 
and the resultant will be multiplied by pi upon 2. So friends, how shall we get the result? This is 2, this one is 2. So getting 3 upon 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 for the 32 into 8, that is 256 into pi upon 2. So getting 3 pi upon 512. So friends, integration 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 4x into cos to the power 6x dx gives us the result 3 pi upon 5, 1 to 512 using the Wiley's formula. So helpful for gentle turns. Please.